Getting back to pass, four-man rush, throws it deep down the middle for Justin Blackman. He makes the catch, and he's gone! Good night, Vienna! Justin Blackman was a superstar at Oklahoma State. He finished with 38 touchdowns and over 3,300 yards in just two seasons. Drafted fifth overall in the 2012 NFL Draft by the Jacksonville Jaguars, Justin Blackman was compared favorably to top receivers drafted a year earlier, Julio Jones and A.J. Green. He was viewed as a near can't miss prospect with elite upside. So what happened? There were rumors about his issues with alcohol among some NFL circles, but the overall assumption was that this would not be a major issue. The Jaguars clearly weren't too concerned. But Blackman's first issues with the law came in June of 2012, shortly after being drafted, when he was arrested for a DUI in Oklahoma. In his rookie year, he would put together 64 receptions for 865 yards and five touchdowns. Nothing groundbreaking, but it was a promising start. In 2013, the NFL suspended him for four games for violating the league's substance abuse policy. In the four games following the suspension, Blackman put up 29 receptions for 415 yards and a touchdown, nearly half of the receptions and yards of his entire rookie season in just four games. Unfortunately, this would be the final stat line of his final season in the NFL as Blackman was suspended indefinitely for once again violating the league's substance abuse policy. In July of 2014, before getting the chance to apply for reinstatement by the league, Blackman was arrested for marijuana possession. In 2015, Blackman was denied reinstatement, ending his chances to play that season. 2015 would get worse for Blackman as he was disallowed the opportunity to play in the CFL and once again got arrested in December of 2015. After pleading guilty to the DUI, he was eventually sentenced to one year probation. The NFL rules state that he would have to go through a two month vetting process after applying for reinstatement. At 31 years old, as of recording this video, there is no sign of him ever returning to the field.